We have the new Shimano Di2 and uh, just landed here in Adelaide, South Australia. Synchro Shift. What do you think of the Synchro Shift? Have you used it? Did you rate it? What did you think of it? Um, I think, like anything, it's going to take you a few rides to sort of get used to it. And look at that. Look at that der derail amount there. It's like a bit of a Linderette's road link. I think maybe Shimano's been watching the videos and they've designed it so it runs with the 34 cassette out of the box. So I, reckon, I reckon that derail would run 34 cassette out of the box. This is a Synchro Shift in action. Uh, Richard was polite enough to show us sort of how it was. Um, my dyslexic brain didn't really grasp it straight away, but I'm sure of a few rides, and uh, you could probably work it out. But it do does shift very nice and smooth, very light, and you can always expect good quality from Shimano 99% of the time. You know, there's nothing that's perfect, but uh, hopefully none of these cassettes implode like the original 9000 series did. If you've ridden this group set, what did you think? Did you rate it? Did you rate it? And what was the biggest cassette you could put in there? I mean, it looks, it looks like that B-screw, look at that, that B-screw looks like it's ready for a, a 40 cassette almost. Quite interesting how deep that could go. Um, bigger cassettes, climbing, so this is definitely a climbing group set. And that's a mountain bike sort of style, just shadow derailer, isn't it? Probably hard to snap one of those off. Interesting, so if you get any feedback, the Shimano Durace 910.